Hi everyone, this is Key. In this video, I want to share with you the benefits of attending the upcoming workshop in New York about what I call how to get listings consistently. See, getting listings is a skill. A lot of our real estate agents, when they join uh, their offices or they, you know, come to the real estate industry, they focus a lot on working with buyers, which makes complete sense. But this business we call real estate is driven primarily by inventory. And buyers can only buy what is in the inventory. And who gets the inventory to the market are the listing agents. So in this video, I want to give you a sense of what the workshop is, but really what are the benefits? If you're going to invest in yourself, to attend a workshop like this. First of all, you're investing your time, your money. Uh, you have to make uh, plans for it. You have to travel probably for it. You need to know, why am I going there? What am I going to learn? What is it that this uh, workshop is going to help me with? First of all, my name is Key. I'm a listing strategist. It is my job to make agents uncomfortable about becoming comfortable to ask for business. I know it sounds contradictory, but it isn't. You see, asking for business, technically speaking, is uncomfortable. Most agents prefer to be order takers. They wait for the business to come to them. And by the way, everybody wants that. There's nothing wrong with that. The challenge is, in our industry, you have competition that you do not see. And that competition is working with your sellers and getting listings from them. And you may not be doing enough for yourself, but maybe it's not just a question of intellect. Maybe what you don't have what I call a playbook, a way to consistently prospect to generate potential sellers and to run your career like a career. See, you don't want to be a dabbler. You don't want to do real estate on the side. You want to do real estate and make a living at it. Actually, making a living at it is not sufficient. You should thrive. You should do really well. And in order to thrive in real estate, you have got to take on the listing side. So let's talk about this workshop. Let me give you a sense of it, how it works. And then this way you can decide whether it is worth your investment. So the, the, the title of the class, the workshop, by the way, it's an all-day live in-person workshop, Getting Listing Mindset, Planning, Script, and Proper Canvassing. So that's really the big picture of the title. But let me dig into it a bit deeper. Did you know that only 3% of all real estate agents spend two hours a day prospecting? Remember, prospecting is the act of going to talking to people you don't know and the people you know, but mostly people you don't know, to find out who is about to list so you can help them list their home with you. Of course, part of that prospecting will generate buyers for you. There's a, there's a, there's a truth, my friend. A lot of the sellers you're going to be helping are going to look to buy something. If they're buying locally, you're helping them. If they are buying uh, because they're moving, well, you can refer them. So there's always a benefit to you as a listing agent if you're playing the game, if you're in it, to get more business. This is why the listing side is the toughest side, but the most profitable side. That's why if you look at the awards that are given every year by all institutions, the people to tend, that tend to be at the top tend to be listing agents. If you look at them and look at their production and you look at their MLS production, most of it is listings. So, less, uh, in fact, half of real estate agents in the industry don't prospect at all. And the other half, minus the 3% I talked about, they prospect one hour a week or sometimes one hour a month when they are desperate. That's not a strategy. You need to understand that getting listing is a skill. And how, how do you layer a skill? Well, you gotta have a 
plan of action. You got to have script. You got to know what to say and how to say it in a non-salesy way. We're not in the business of manipulating people. We're in the business of helping them achieve their dream. And we want them to pick us. And guess what? People don't like to be sold, but they buy all the time. And who, what is the product in the listing? You are. You're the product. You're the one they're deciding whether they want to work with you or not. So our job in real estate is to kind of create a playbook that helps us create a funnel of potential listings. Let me tell you what happiness looks like. Happiness looks like this. Two appointments a week, minimum of two listings a month. If you did two listings a month consistently this year, you will never have to worry about money. And by the way, the moment you do two listings a month, you now actually start doing 30, 40 transactions easy. Going key, two times 12 is only 24. See, listing create more opportunity. Listing, in fact, every time you get the listing in a neighborhood, another neighbor is watching you. Listing brand you better than anything else. You can spend a lot of branding on social media, which is important, but it's not sufficient. Our job is to help you develop that playbook. And that's why I designed this workshop. This workshop will help you put together a playbook, a mindset, and play the game. And I'm not saying it's an easy game, but it's worth it. It's worth your effort. So let's go through this program and how it works. First of all, markets always shift. It's so interesting that last year, towards the end of it, in October, November, people go, the market is shifting, the market is shifting. I'm like, markets shift all the time. I've been watching the real estate statistics for the last 25 years, and guess what? They keep shifting, and that's the nature of it. Interest rate go up, interest rate go down. But there's one thing that doesn't change. Sellers sell their home when life happens to them. Some of the things that happen to them are good. Some of the things that happen to them are not so good. But that's what causes sellers to sell. When there is inventory, buyers can buy it. And guess what? The equation between sellers and buyers, we have less sellers than we need. In fact, I'm going to tell you this right now. If in the United States we built 1 million single homes, in one day. So let's say we build 1,300 to $350,000 single homes. Let's say there was a way to snap our fingers and make 1 million listings, uh, 1 million new construction happen in the 300, 350. They'll be gone. They'll be gone in a second. There is so much pent up demand. The challenge we have is we got to find the sellers who need to sell to match them up with buyers. So when you play the equation of listings, you are always on the side of controlling your destiny because you are playing in the market. Now, the days of getting a listing and just putting a number on it and you will sell are gone. You need to become more strategic. You need to, be, you need to have a proven uh, prospecting plan. By the way, part of prospecting is following up. You meet someone, you talk to them, that's not the end of the conversation. Actually, that's the beginning. So ask yourself, do you have a follow-up plan? Is it organic or is it manipulative? Are you creating an environment where the people you follow up with go, you know, she knows her stuff. I'm going to work with her. Are you doing that? And we call that putting together a playbook. You need to learn to ask for business. Yes, I am aware there's a fear of rejection. There's that fear that makes you go, ooh, what if they say no? But that's part of the game. In fact, you need to understand that the first answer from somebody you don't know is no. I'll give you an example. Most of you watching this video, if you don't know of me or through your broker or to somebody else, right now you're saying, no, I'm not doing this. It's too weird. This guy talking to me doesn't, I don't know. I, I don't want to be in his class. Because the first instinct that humans have towards somebody they don't know is to say no, because it's safe. It's a safe answer. Now that means you have to have a value proposition. You gotta have something good about you. 
something good about your business, something good about how you run your business for people to go, hmm, okay. Honey, if, we need, we think, uh, if we're thinking about selling, we got to work with Bob. We got to work with Susan. We got to work with Jerry. That is the game. So don't look at the fear of rejection as something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. It is the game. The people who do well in this business have understood that. But you're asking me, key are there skills I need to develop to overcome the fear of rejection? Yes. Overcoming the fear of rejection is actually also a skill. It's not something you're born with. It's not something you go, well, key, I was lucky. I was born in this territory. I have this personality. Therefore, I don't, I'm not afraid of rejection. Everybody's afraid of rejection. No one wants to hear no. So you develop the skill on how to overcome. And that's what we call having a proven prospecting plan, uh, having a mindset for getting listings, growing your sales by having a proper playbook. Now, my workshops are hands-on. I don't talk about this, just the psychology of success. You can read about those things. At the end of the day, you'll say, Key, if I go to talk to a FISBO, how do I approach them in such a way that I get a chance? If I'm talking to an expired seller, how do I talk to them? If I'm doing an open house, how do I approach the neighbors so they can pick me in the future if they ever think about selling? Those are all called prospecting activity with proper scripts. And the worst thing about a script is the one you don't write. See, a good coach will teach you how to write your own script. And this is why getting listings is a practical skill. Now, my workshops are practical. So just to give you a sense of it, you will leave with a document that has about 30 pages in it with lots of script. We will practice the scripts in the room. You will learn the philosophy and psychology of how to approach different types of sellers. You will learn how to handle objections. You will learn how to not fear the fear of rejection. You will learn to build your confidence. You see, in real estate, the currency of success is confidence, not arrogance. Arrogance is, you know, I'm better than you. Confidence means I know my business. I am prepared. I know the market because I prepare. Uh, I know how to talk about homes and their pricing because I'm prepared. See, preparation, having a good script, preparation, builds your confidence. Well, think about it. What makes Tom Hanks look good? I mean, he's a great actor, much beloved by many. But guess what? He practices his scripts. What, what, what do you think a, uh, a script uh, for a movie is? It's something that the uh, actors and the directors and the producers have to align themselves around. Well, you are an actor to a degree. You're not trying to be fake. You are learning how to speak the language of your industry. And we're not doing enough of that. We are not doing enough of practicing what are called the language of real estate. How to talk to a seller. How to talk to a buyer. We're not practicing that. We assume that because agents are in the business, especially those who've been around a long time, they know what to say. And they don't. Well, they know how to fake it. Oh, yes, but that's not sufficient. By the way, that's good. You, you want it from time to time. From time to time, you have to fake it till you make it. But you got to have a better strategy. What do I mean by strategy? Well, a plan of action. And that plan of action, when you're confident and you walk into a listing appointment, you do not have to, to do much. They got to give you the listing because confidence is, is an energy. You can feel it in someone. You can see it. When you ask them questions, the way they respond does not have a lot of, uh, uh, well, uh, 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 there's none of that. They know their stuff. And guess what? You got to develop that ability. And it is a skill. Building confidence is not something you're born with. It is a skill. And I don't know why in our industry we keep thinking, oh, Susie, uh, 
you are going to do well in real estate. You like people. Yeah, that's, by the way, that's a good asset, but that's not sufficient. That, that's not going to make Susie a, a listing agent. It's going to make her somebody who has to now put on the work. And the work is how to have a listing playbook, an approach to your prospecting so that you consistently produce results. So let me give you the mechanics of this workshop. So first of all, this workshop is May 18th of 2023. It's a Thursday. Uh, it's from 10 a.m. to about 4.30 p.m. Uh, it will be around until 5, 5.30, but 4.30 will be the official end, but I linger around to interact with you and talk to you. Um, you got to be on time. Uh, the facility opens at 9. Uh, 9.30 is where you, you, you got to be there no later than 9.30 to make sure we check you through the roster of participants. And then you have to take, uh, you have to select your seat and be comfortable. Um, there will be four major time slots. Uh, we work like this, 90 minute, 50 minute break, 90 minute, uh, 30 minute work lunch, 90 minute, 15 minute break, 90 minute, we close out uh, the day, and then I linger around for Q&A because there's always questions and answers that people do. So if you're going to attend this event, make sure you make yourself available. Try not to schedule too many things that day that force you to leave early. You're not going to get the benefit of that investment that you're going to make. The location will be in Melvin, New York. You can see the address. It's called the Melville Square Corporate Center. Um, it's uh, right off the, uh, uh, the the expressway. So uh, it's 1305 Walt Whitman Road in Melvin, New York. I'm sure you can find it very easily. There's plenty of parking. Uh, but the, the event is limited in terms of size. Um, let me give you some of the topics. And I'll talk about a lot of stuff. But the fundamental topics are, first, you got to get a mindset for listings. You got to know what it means to have a mindset for listings. Then you got to time block your prospecting properly. Then you need to know how to phone canvas. To phone canvas is how to find potential sellers using the phone. Then you need to learn how to neighborhood canvas, how to go face-to-face -face and neighborhood canvas or uh, uh, create what I call um, a plan of action uh, to approach potential neighborhood uh, homeowners. Remember, for every 100 homeowners, five to six are going to sell this year. That has been consistent for the last 40 years. You can count on it. What you cannot count on is who. Now, I know what you want. You want the people who know you when they're thinking about selling to call you. And if there's enough business there, you're done. You're finished. If you told me, Keith, I know so many people that I'm getting listings from the people I know because every time they think about selling, they call me and I'm generating two, three listings uh, a month. I'm like, this workshop is not for you. You're good to go. Hallelujah. Enjoy your step. Uh, enjoy your life, actually, because you built a book of business. The truth of the matter is the people you know don't always give you the business you deserve. So we're going to learn how to time block. We're going to learn how to phone canvas. We're going to learn how to talk face to face. We're going to learn how to use events. We're going to learn how to design scripts. I'm going to teach you a technique. It's called the script design technique that helps you design a script for any uh, situation that comes up. Your job is to remember scripting is not saying what somebody else tells you. Scripting is the idea that there is a psychology to the language and then you layer the way you speak into it. So that means you rewrite it to sound like you, but you don't forget the psychology. And once you've done that, you connect and you will learn that technique. So therefore, in this course, you not only learn, of course, how to canvas, how to prospect, how to find listings, but also you're going to learn how to handle scripts by creating your own, depending on the situation you're going to be for, uh, facing in the future. Um, who is this uh, uh, training open to? 
Well, it's open to all exit associates. If you are an exit agent anywhere in the United States or Canada, uh, you're welcome to attend. It is uh, the URL that you see there uh, or the QR code. They're the same thing. You can pause the video. It takes you to the registration page and, uh, and the cost of it, which I'll tell you in just a second. Um, let's agree. In order for you to get the full benefit of this, you got to attend the whole day. Do whatever you can to have people in your life help you make sure that when you leave in the morning that you are able to be in the class all day long. So uh, re rearrange your life because you're investing not just your money, you're investing your time, which is the most valuable asset. You're making a commitment into this. Now remember, there will not be any walk-in registrations or late registrations. Uh, I w we will probably close this event uh, two, three, three weeks before the event actually happens. Uh, the facility can only handle 60 people. I'll talk about that in a second. But just be aware, if you wait to the last minute on, on May the 18th and you want to walk in uh, to, to the class, you, you won't be able to. So be aware of that. There's no walk-ins and no, no same-day registration. Uh, of course, we're going to ask you to put your phone on mute. Uh, we know that you may have to take some calls, but you cannot take them from the facility. You have to leave the training room if you want to make calls. I'm going to ask you to prepare yourself to be present. If you're going to invest, invest properly. And the, the, the room is a room of collaboration. What do I mean by that? We'll be practicing with other people. We'll be working together. We'll be doing the work in the class. We'll be practicing script. We'll be being paired up with other people. Some of them we know, some of them we don't know. So you got to bring a spirit of collaboration, meaning you want to work with other people. You want to bring a, a spirit of gratitude, meaning you're going to learn from them as much as they're going to learn from you. And you got to be able to focus. So whatever you can do to prepare yourself to be in that mindset, please do so write affirmations toward that mindset so that you are prepared. What else should you know? Well, probably you want to know the cost. The cost of this workshop is $200 per agent. Um, because we have brokers who are stepping up and we have also um, uh, the facility uh, and the food uh, have been uh, taken by some sponsors. So the, the cost per ticket uh, you save $100. It's $99.50. Uh, we only have 60 seats. So just be aware, it's an all-day training from about 9.30-ish in the morning until 4.30, 5 o'clock. So all-day training. And remember, it is $99 per person, and there's only 60 seats. Now, if you want to buy tickets in bulk, there are some discounts. So if you buy 15 tickets in one go and you pay for them, they come down to $79.50. So there's a discount there if you're a broker or a team leader who wants to take advantage of that. But remember, once you pay for it, uh, that's it. So you, you, you got to decide how many tickets. Now, some people ask me, Key, can I buy 14 tickets? Well, they will be based on the price of 10. Can I buy six tickets? Well, they will be based on the price of five. So I will prorate depending, but make sure you don't dilly-dally, don't wait until the last minute, but at the same time, you know, once you make the purchase, you make the purchase. You can do additional purchases, but they will be separate from the one you did. Remember, there would be no refunds for lack of attendance. If you don't show up and you pay for your ticket and you don't show up, you don't show up. It's, that's up to you. You have to take responsibility for yourself. Um, what else? Um, Again, there will be no same-day registration. Um, and the only people who can be ticketed in the event are exit brokers, exit agent, exit associates from anywhere in the United States. What else should you know? I know it's a, it will be a demanding class. It is not for everyone. Uh, my workshops are not a walk in the park, but they're very strategic. I care that you choose to become part of the top 5% of all real estate agents. That's your mindset. If you said to me, Key, I'm only interested 
in excelling. I don't want to be a dabbler anymore. I don't want to be an order taker. I want to become a go-getter. I want to go out there and get the business I deserve. Then I'll say this workshop, you're going to love it. You're going to love the strategies, the mindset, because my strategies are non-salesy. There's no manipulation. There's only engagement. And I help you develop that confidence. I help you develop that engagement with other people that makes you feel good. Yeah, I love what I do. This is great. I'm so glad I do real estate. I want you to be in that place. And by the way, there's a lot of money to be had in real estate, but it would not be given to you. You have to go out there and get it. Let me end with this quote. This one comes from um, uh, Jim Ron. I don't know if you looked up Jim Ron. He's excellent. Unfortunately, he passed, but I love the man. Here's what he says. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. He's saying work on yourself and bring out the best in yourself. Prepare. Do the, do the grind, meaning you need to learn your neighborhood. You need to learn the prices in your neighborhood. You got to learn your script. You got to practice your script. He's saying the grind is good for you. When you do the grind, you're getting better. Don't wish it were easier. Don't wish it was given to you. Wish you were better. And the smart people in this business always get better. And here's what I find interesting. The people who end up attending a lot of my workshops are seasoned agents who want to become a little bit uncomfortable so that they can question, okay, maybe I need to tweak it a bit. Maybe I need, maybe I need to raise my, the level of my professionalism. If you're of that mindset, then you and I are of that mindset. And I cannot wait to see you on Thursday, May the 18th at the workshop. Take care, my friend.